welcome to today's video. Today I am back on my channel with Lucy. This is so exciting. You have no idea. So today we are here. We are in New York City. Aren't I'm we? so excited. Which is incredible. We've decided to have a girly night in, chill, do some face masks and do a Q&A to answer your questions. Now this is all in honour of L'Oreal selling on Pretty Little Thing, which did you know that? I didn't know that. Isn't that insane? I think it's like everyone shops on Pretty Little Thing, so I think that like just pick up a mask. Exactly. It's so easy. It's so great. So in honour of that, L'Oreal are doing a huge giveaway on L'Oreal Skin. I will link all the information down below. Basically they're giving away a massive hamper of things for you and four friends. Just need to go on their profile, repost it, tag your friends in it who you'd share it with. I mean, I will link all the info down below in the description box along with the Pretty Little Thing link to shop on there. But I think this is very exciting. I mean, it's you? very, very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and in honour of this, we are masking. Now, we've got a few of them here. We've got the detox one, the pure clay one, and the glow one. That's now, we are missing a couple. What, the glow one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're missing it. the purity one and the blemish rescue, which is the bright blue one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool as well. But I feel like these are my, my go-tos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm going to bring my go-tos with me. We will do a kind of multi-masking sesh. I never just use one mask with these. I never just use one mask, like, full stop anymore. I think it's more fun using, like, three masks. Oh, 100%. And like targeting the areas that need doing so we're gonna apply our masks we're gonna answer your questions I probably picked the worst time to do a QA and a if I'm being completely honest with some of the questions that were asked but we're just gonna go for it we're just gonna jump happens. straight in life happens and this is right I'm gonna put my hair up doing. otherwise okay what yeah I should off? probably put mine up as well yeah. someone asked Sticking with the girly night in theme, obviously we're going to be doing all sorts of questions, but like, how do you actually relax? Like, what do you do to have a chill night and relax? This is a new thing for me, a new thing for the last couple of nights. I love, like, meditation music. Mm -hmm. Like, I've been putting it on before we go to sleep, and honestly, it knocks me out. Oh, like, yeah, completely. Like, you're like, gone. Uh -huh. yeah. like, I, like, I used to be the person that would literally take, like, genuinely like hours to get to sleep because you'd sit on your phone yeah exactly <laughs> but then but when like, you're bored what else are you yeah exactly do? so now i've just made the decision just get off your phone stick some meditation music on literally just relax even if you're not asleep relaxing is better than like having your brain be like constantly like whizzing oh, with your phone so i like to do that and i also really like to play badminton at the moment Really? And I know that doesn't sound like it's relaxing, but it actually is. Do you know what? I love doing exercise to relax. Yeah. I know it sounds like such a random one. And my favorite thing to do, this is so silly. So I have a treadmill in my house. Yeah. And it's one of the things that when I moved out, I had it at my parents' house. I was like, okay, I need, I need this because I put a face mask on and I'll go and walk on the treadmill. <laughs> and I would bla like absolutely blast music. That's funny. And I love it. And I, I honestly find it so relaxing and then it's like then you can go and chill and because you've done things you don't feel like you're being lazy if that makes sense yeah it feels like you're actually doing something exactly so that is how i tend to relax i'm just popping on the brightening mask on the rest of my face because my skin's actually all right at the minute i've been traveling quite a bit but i've been keeping up with like my masking routine i tend to do masks twice a week i don't know how often you do them i do masks probably more than i should but then again i feel like it's better to do them too often than not enough. yeah yeah definitely so this one's detoxing it's so good for like blackheads yeah i might put that on my nose you know so with these masks you just leave them for like five to ten minutes i just tend to leave them until i'm ready to shower it off i just love washing them off in the shower i don't know about you but it's I think so, much, so easier. much easier yeah it's like my favorite thing to do so yeah, we're just gonna leave these on, have a chat, have a look through your questions. I feel like you're always okay. done your makeup before me and why- You take so long, Lucy, for just everything. Just everything, I don't understand. We went out the other night just for like drinks and I was like, right, we just need to quickly shove something on our faces. And thank goodness, like, the people we're meeting were late. Yeah, Because Lucy's just sat there just going for it. I'm like, all right then, oh, it's fine. God. I'm gonna pick a question that I feel is really appropriate to this trip and it is how do you pick your outfits every day? Oh my god. And goodness. I'm gonna throw this over to Lucy because, dude, you're so organized this time. <laughs> this time? This time you're going to every other time. Yeah. Um, okay, so recently I've lost quite a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. So before I actually used to find picking my outfits hard because I felt a bit rubbish. Okay. But I feel yeah, like the more confident you get, the more easy it is to pick your outfits. Because you're excited to wear them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So recently, well, 
on this trip I have um, my mum got me like loads of little pouches like suitcase pouches that is one of them and they are the handiest things ever I literally just put like separate outfits in the little pouches so like outfit plan before and this is a very new thing I used to just chuck loads of clothes in a suitcase yeah. and it just never used to work um, and this time your suitcase was only overweight by one kilogram yes it's <laughs> so me oh but no you like you like you said to me before going on this trip you know you were so ready for this so excited went shopping got loads of no, like new things yeah. and you're excited about your outfits which is so nice and I feel like same here it's one of the things where you just need to take a little bit of time to plan and then you get so excited about wearing them and it's just yeah try like them morning. on as well yeah I, I that's a new thing for me yeah because I didn't yeah. used to try them on and no, it used to be a bit of an issue yeah and you get these outfits somewhere and they'd be like so not matching I look so so crazy. You look like a scarecrow. Yeah, I know. What happened to you and Lucy? Why weren't you friends? And how did you become friends again? <laughs> well, like we Emily had the actually... biggest fallout ever because she's so nasty to me, like all the time. <laughs> I'm like, like Emily actually ran me over in her car. And Lucy just thinks so much of herself, <laughs> and it's just I can't deal. She's so different so in person embarrassing. to online. Like Emily, literally, like she just thinks she's a boss when she drives. <laughs> and she just runs everyone over. <laughs> I think the thing is, is we are very similar when we get boyfriends. Yeah. Very similar. Yeah. And, and we're just busy anyway. Yeah. And so we're busy anyway. And then when you add someone else into the mix, yeah. and both of us try and dedicate like our full attention to one person. Yeah. And that's like it's just, it, how, we it's just how we are. Yeah. And I think that gets very difficult when both of us do that. <laughs> yeah. We don't have any it spare time. And then the other person just nags the other yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. But when we're both like seeing someone and it's like new and fresh, it's just a bit like, obviously we still like communicate. Yeah. But it's we're not just, like, I'm not talking to you. No, no, <laughs> it's never like that. And always check up on each other. But it's just a bit like, I don't think we can deal with more than like a like one person. I think it's difficult because we're both so busy work-wise. Yeah. And then you add in like a personal life and it's like, <laughs> how do we do it? <laughs> yes. That is, so that is literally it. We both were just busy and then we had this whole other commitment so we didn't have time to like hang out. But, but I mean, we did. Together. We did though. We went to like events and things together. We yeah. just didn't vlog it. Yeah. Really. Yeah. We didn't really like post on socials and stuff because yeah. I think when we do eventually get time to spend with each other, it's like... We just go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not really something to vlog because we literally... It's like a full on like two month catch up. So... Yeah. Plus we live so far apart. Yeah, exactly. We're literally opposite ends of the country. So. Yeah. But yeah, no, we're fine. We just got busy, which, you know, that's life. And it's really, it's really reassuring to know that, you know, you can, you can become distant from your friends, but they'll still be there for you. Yeah, definitely. And th that's never the worry that we're not going to be friends. Oh, no. It's just like, you know, we've got things on. It's understandable. So yeah, we know this. <laughs> Please don't stress. We are fine. Ah, oh, this is a cute one. When and how did you become friends? Oh my god, we've been friends for literal years. So long. I must have been like five years. Yeah, I actually want to know how long it, it is. It was a long time ago because when we hung out, it's when it was after Jake and I had been to the zoo and hung out. Yeah. We weren't together or anything, but we'd been to the zoo and you were like, so what's going on there then? And I was like, oh, we're just friends. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but it was like we met at an event we did and it was like an instagram event yeah in birmingham yeah oh my god i was about to say manchester birmingham yeah and it was really rubbish it was probably the worst event i've ever been to, Me too. however but the brands something good out of it but like the brands evolved they're still going yeah yeah different things now which is cool it's nice seeing brands grow as well but yeah we just clicked didn't we and your mum was amazing oh yeah my mum came your mom was there. Oh, yeah yeah that was a really fun day then we went shopping we did yeah, that's pretty much it. And then it just went from there. Oh, what is your best purchase of the year so far? <laughs> um, I don't really buy much, which I know sounds really silly. Obviously, I buy clothes because I need to wear clothes. But, like, I don't really spend much money, do I? I think everyone has this warped opinion that you honestly spend so much money all the time. Emily is the best saver you will ever meet in your whole life. Like, it's actually annoying. Yeah, like, I mean... She saves all her money. She shops at Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing. My mum does the exact same. But like, I think people think, oh, she goes to Waitrose and buys her full week shop and... She's so like, I don't know, whatever. I'm like but that person. Not. No, I'm that person that like go around the house and turn all the lights off and turn all the TVs off if people have left them on. Yeah. I'm like, I'm kind of pills. Pills. Yeah, literally, whereas I'm just not like that at all. <laughs> I'm the worst saver ever. Yeah, I feel like we both have made some good purchases this year though. 
I mean, I'm trying to think what I even bought this I year. I just feel like it's been a really cool year. I feel like, oh, I've just touched my face mask. <laughs> Do you know what I think my best purchase of the year has been? My pull and bear white trainers. Oh yeah, they are really They're nice. They're very cool. I bought them to go to New York in a few weeks ago because I didn't want to ruin my more expensive trainers because this just sums me up. Yeah. And they are just <laughs> literally, just literally, up. literally. They are so comfortable. They washed so well because I spilled tomato soup on them last night. <laughs> and I had to wash them. And they're just, yeah, I didn't need to break them in. They're really affordable. They look cool. So, yeah, my. I thought they were a designer when I saw them. They've got a very, like, Zara esque look to them. Yeah, they look really expensive. Yeah. I don't know what my best purchase is. I'm trying to think of what I use the most. I, do you know what? I would probably say I bought some new pajamas. Mm hmm. And the Victoria's Secret, like, silky ones. Nice. And they are so comfortable. Like, I literally wear them every single night and I get my mum to wash them, like, in between days so I can wear them again that <laughs> night. Cause I actually love them. Like, I'm really into pajamas right now, so I'd probably say pajamas. It's just nice having things that make you feel good. Yeah, definitely. So, a lot of people have been asking us to talk about life goals. And I feel like this is really relevant okay. because of the time of year, because exams, things like that, you know, a lot of people are moving on to new things as of September. Yeah. And for us, we didn't really go around down the traditional route. However, we have siblings that did. Yeah. And are. So, uh, what, you know, when you were in kind of sixth form doing your A-levels, about to finish like your exams, what were your goals? Okay, so I used to want to be a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I did like a makeup course and thought I could not do this every day. I'm gonna get so bored. Yeah And then when uh, after I did my first year because in Scotland you do two years of, G of A levels yeah. um, I don't know if that's the same. Yes, you do in the UK. You used to do AS levels and A2s and now you just do like them all in it, the all two years. Yeah, okay yeah. So then the first year of A levels and I was like, oh, I really want to do business at uni Mm -hmm. And I only kind of thought I wanted to do business at uni because everyone was pushing me to go to uni. Right. And I was like, I, I don't really know what else to do. Um, at this point, I was still doing YouTube, but I was like, I don't really want to go to uni, but everyone's going to uni, so should I go to uni? Yeah. Like, and then I went to go and see a university, and I was like, I definitely do not want to do any more years of, like, schooling or learning. Do you feel like uni's even more encouraged in Scotland because you don't have to pay for it? Yeah. 100% and I think people some people go to uni Just because that's the, the done thing. Yeah, and yeah, totally you don't have to pay for it in Scotland So it's not like you're thinking is it gonna be worth it? It's nine grand or whatever Yeah, like you literally just get it like you get everything for free. So it's not so it's just like another step of education Yeah, exactly. It's not really a big deal like it is in England. Yeah, so I don't know I feel like my goals at that point were literally just to do something that I loved mm -hmm. because I knew that going to university wasn't going to make me happy. Yeah, that's so, so important. I was literally just like, see what happens, carry on doing YouTube, if I then want to do something else then I can. Amazing. Well, yeah, I mean pretty much same. I did my first year of A-levels, my AS levels, um, and I did, did, yeah, I did the whole year. And then it got to October of my A2s and I was pretty ill. Uh, a lot of people seem to think that I left school to become a YouTuber. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, I, yeah, I was, I was quite ill. I had, you know, health problems and my, my school sat me down and they were like, look, Emily, you need to take some time off and come back, start the year again next September, take the year just to, you know, sort yourself out, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should, they were like, because even if you get through your A-levels, you cannot go to uni like this. Yeah. And I was like, well, fair enough. You know, makes sense. It was, it was a relief, honestly. Yeah. So I left in October and my mum and dad said to me, they were like, look, if you want to go back to school in September, totally fine. We'll support you. You can live here rent free. You know, you can get a job and then, you know, we'll start again in September. Yeah. Um, and I was like, okay. And my school, like, they all knew I was doing YouTube at that point. They're like, you know, if this makes you happy, focus yeah. on it. So I said to my parents, I was like, you know, I want to see what I can do with this. And they said, okay, you've got six months. If this is what you want to do. Uh, you've got six months to do this and we will support you. After that, you need to get a job and then back to school in yeah, September. Yeah, yeah. And by the next September, I was living in London, working, doing so. <laughs> That is what happened. And it got back to the next September and my mum, you know, I, I would go home every weekend anyway. Yeah. And she was like, so I'm guessing you're not going back to school on Monday. And I was just like, well, do you think I should? You know, because, you know, if you think that's the right thing for me, 100%, I'll go and finish my A-levels. And she, she was like, well, are you going to go to uni? And I was like, well... No. <laughs> no. And she was like, okay, then there's, there is no point. 
so I didn't go back to school and I didn't finish my A-levels, which I have no regrets because school was horrific for me. Yeah, like, I'm for you me. as well. Yeah, we hated school. And I, I had an awful, awful time at school, like personally and due to the school itself. So I was so relieved that I didn't have to go back. And similarly, uni wasn't for me. Firstly, the education system just didn't suit me. And secondly, I feel like uni is amazing if you know what you want to do. Like my, my older sister is a primary school teacher, university was incredible for her, obviously you need it. Yeah. But for someone who I had no clue what I wanted to do, it would have been, it wouldn't have even been a time to find myself because you're just doing that one course. Yeah, I think, I think there's such a stigma around going to uni because everyone says that you have to go to uni. Yeah. And I think that's a really big problem. Mm -hmm. And it's getting better, I think, but yeah, it exactly. is still a problem and i know so many people that have gone to uni just because their parents told them they have to go to uni honestly i just feel really bad because my parents are really supportive and were like if you want to go to uni do it if you yeah. don't exactly don't same, yeah. like my sister goes to uni my older sister and she does something really crazy which i don't know how it is biomed or <laughs> science or something she's super intelligent and she absolutely loves uni yeah but i know if i went i would hate it yeah so I think you just have to do what's right for you. Exactly, and, and don't, don't be afraid. Yeah. You can still succeed if you don't go to uni. I know so many people that have done so, so, not not in like the social world, I'm not, I, because I know a lot of people will be sat there thinking, well, you know, social media is different. Yeah. I know so many people in like the marketing industry and all things like that, that just started as interns who didn't go to uni and because they started that bit earlier, they worked their way up, they learned, they got practical experience and they're doing so well for themselves. And I think in some fields as well, it is so valuable to have practical experience mm -hmm. and they will take practical experience over a university degree. Yeah. So as long as Especially you know- Especially if the degree is relevant. Yeah, exactly. So if you want to do marketing and you've got a degree in law, <laughs> Or something that's totally like yeah, which it happens to people because yeah. you don't know what you want when you're like 18. Yeah. Because I'm 21, and I still don't know what I want, and I really didn't know when I was 18. Yeah. So just don't panic. Just do what's right because I feel like you have that gut instinct and you know, like you honestly know. Yeah. Definitely. But don't feel pressured by other people. That is the worst thing you could do. <laughs> okay. Question for both of you. Does it bother you that every guy you hang around with automatically becomes your boyfriend because people assume things? Oh, uh, <laughs> this is so annoying. Like, so annoying. So, one of my best friends is Jamie Miller. Every I you were going single. Out of yeah! <laughs> well, everyone seems to think we are. Every single comment when I put a picture up, like, oh my god, you guys are so cute together. Sorry? Well, we both dated Adam. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> Like, and everyone's always like, yeah, you're going out. And then I post a picture, like I comment on Adam's picture and they're like, oh my God, you guys are so nice <laughs> together. I'm like, why can't I be friends with him? Like, it's not annoying in the slightest, is it? It's like, not. it's just funny. And yeah. it's just, it's so lovely that people are like that interested, which is oh, yeah, so, definitely. so lovely. But at the same time, it's like, if you take a step back, like we, we meet a lot of people and we hang out with like a lot of different people through work, guys, girls, and like, if we do post a photo of someone or we're with someone, like, it doesn't mean anything. We're more likely not to post a photo of someone if we're with someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Because you, you want to protect that relationship. 100%. If it is, like, a relationship relationship rather than a friendship. Because you want to protect it and make sure that it's the right thing to do before you publicise it. Yeah. Because once you publicise it, you're almost giving everyone the right to have an opinion. Which they do. Everyone does have the right to have an opinion. But then people voice that opinion. <laughs> And that's when it becomes difficult. Yeah. So if you like it's it's whatever. Like it's it's not a big deal, but it is it is funny. Yeah, it's 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 like you almost know that people are gonna say things, but then it's like, but I just wanna post it anyway because they're my friend. Yeah, and like it's a cute picture. Yeah, and it's like, like yeah. It. So yeah, that is the answer to that one. Oh, how many children do you want and what would you name them? Okay, I've got both my children's names and what I want if a girl and a boy. What if your partner doesn't like the names? Well, then they've got to go. <laughs> no, I mean, we could talk about it, but they're really pretty names. So I want a girl and a boy. Okay. And I want to call them Lily and Olivier. Cute. I love Olivier. So cute, cute, isn't it? Yeah, that is very cute. That's my two favourite names. So you just want two kids? I mean, that's what I've got in my head, but I probably will end up having more. I was going to say, yeah. I can't see you just having two. Yeah. I want as many kids as I can possibly have. Oh my goodness. Not as in like 12. <laughs> but like, I'll be gutted if I don't have more than like two kids. Yeah. Because I, I can just, see you with like four children. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah, I can 100%. see you with four children. I have a lot of love to give, yeah. 
Yeah, and I, I mean, I feel like names, I feel like it's a very collaborative thing. And I feel like depending on like who you're with, it changes. If that is that bad? I think it depends on like, this is gonna sound really weird, but it also depends on like, the origin of the person you're with. Because if they're like Italian or yeah. like Spanish or- Then they any, have preferences. Yeah, exactly. And also they'll have some really like, like cute names like from where they're from. Yeah, so, which you wouldn't have even thought of. Yeah, exactly. Because you're not obviously from there. So yeah. I think it'd be quite cute. Yeah. Laurel or Yanni? Laurel. Really? Yeah, I was Laurel. I could hear both. I could switch. Although I could, like someone then posted another video after the first one I saw. Yeah. And it was, it was either slowed down or sped up. Right. And when you focus on one of the other names, you then I could it. hear both, yeah. How did you both feel 1021? How were your birthdays? And do you feel like it was more bigged up than it needed to be? Well, my birthday goes on for like a month, so <laughs> my birthday doesn't finish till pretty much like the 15th of June, because that's when my party is. So my birthday gets bigged up every single year. Yeah, true. My birthday was amazing. And yeah, I had a really nice time. Good. What about yours? Yeah, mine was good. I found it quite stressful. It was just like, uh, it was like a weird time for me. So like, it was just one of the things where it's like, I would have preferred not to have the attention on me. Yeah. But I was just like, do you know what? It's my 21st. We'll get on with it. We'll go with it. And um, yeah, no, it was a really, really nice time. And I just feel like every year I spend my birthday at home and I'm like, I wish I'd gone on holiday. <laughs> yeah. So I think next year I'm going to go away. Me every day. Yeah. So yeah, no, it was great. I feel like 21 is overhyped. There's like no difference. 18 is way bigger in the UK. Yeah, definitely. I think it's because... It's the legal drinking age is 18 in the UK. Yeah. But then, in obviously, 21 is a massive deal in the US exactly. because that's the legal drinking age. So mm -hmm. I think that's what the difference is. Yeah. Well, that was the last question that we are going to answer. We really hope you've enjoyed catching up with us, seeing what's up, seeing our face masks. We are going to go and wash these off and show you how our skin looks. So we'll catch you in like two seconds. We'll be back. And here we are. This is our finished skin. I've left it bare. I've not put moisturizer on or anything yet, just so you can see how my skin looks. It feels super smooth, super hydrated. My like nose feels so smooth. Oh, my face feels on. super smooth. I popped a little bit of moisturizer on, but my skin feels so nice. Mm -hmm. Like actually, like I feel like when I wake up in the morning, my skin is gonna be perfect for makeup. It feels super fresh. Uh, but yeah, we really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I will link all the info in the description box for L'Oreal selling on Pretty Little Thing and their huge giveaway that I would honestly recommend you get involved in. I mean, like, I'll enter, but I probably am not allowed. Anyway, really hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed seeing Lucy on my channel. We are going to be vlogging our time in New York and we'll see you very soon.